For more on the House debate on impeachment, let's go to Yahoo Finance's Jessica Smith, live on Capitol Hill. Uh, Jessica, what's the very latest right now? Well, it has been a long day of debate on the House floor, and it doesn't look like it's going to wrap up anytime soon. Lawmakers are debating the two charges facing the president, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. We've heard passionate speeches from Republicans and Democratic lawmakers on the floor. He's, here's a sampling of some of the back and forth we've seen today. If we do not act now, we would be derelict in our duty. It is tragic that the president's reckless actions make impeachment necessary. Our Democrat colleagues have weaponized the impeachment provision of the Constitution to nullify the votes of 63 million Americans who elected President Donald J. Trump. He solicited foreign interference before, he is doing it now, and he will do it again. The president is the smoking gun. The body of evidence is weak and woefully insufficient for impeachment. The White House press secretary says staff is briefing President Trump throughout the day and he might catch some of the proceedings in between meetings, but impeachment is clearly on his mind. He's been tweeting since early this morning. In one of his most recent tweets, he said, such atrocious lies by the radical left do nothing, Democrats. This is an assault on America and an assault on the Republican Party. Now, Democrats need 216 votes in order to impeach the president. We do not expect any Republicans to join them, but it does look like Democrats Democrats do have the votes, votes they need. Jen. So, of course, um, these charges would leave President Trump poised to become only the third president in American history to be impeached if, in fact, this right. does go through. So can you give us a little bit more on the timeline, especially since we have the holidays coming up, what we know about uh, a Senate trial should it happen? Right. We expect the Senate trial to happen at some point in January, and they are still working out exactly how that is going to work, working out on the timelines. Um, we have seen Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Minority Leader Schumer kind of going back and forth over the past couple days. McConnell says he does not want to have new witnesses. Schumer does want to have those witnesses. Um, even, even though McConnell has rejected that idea right now, that is not a done deal yet. Schumer is going to try to get some Democratic law or some Republican lawmakers excuse me, to vote with Democrats in order for that to happen. So we'll be watching to see how that plays out over the next couple weeks. Jessica Smith, live for us in D.C.